I'm going to bring out a divine thought from the story of Lazarus. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, mm -hmm. Lazarus is dead. He's dead and? And I am glad that for your sakes. I'm glad for your sake that yeah. I was not there. But I was not there. What is he saying by I was not there? What's the meaning of that? I was not there. This is a revelation to the disciples now to say he's, he's not dead because of a disease. He died because of absence. I'm the reason why he died. I wasn't there. And you hear even Mary confirming this, that if you were here, yeah. my brother, though sick, so it's a revelation of what kills people. That's the only condition, not a disease, not asthma, not cancer, not ulcer, not high blood pressure. I deliberately excluded myself from his life so that a condition would take advantage of my absence i was not there please get this part because now this has to do with you this part wallace is telling you why lazarus is dead and the reason being that i was not there is at the same time telling you the reason why you are alive if they are dying over there because he is not there. We are alive over here because he's here. But look at what is happening. He's saying that these conditions have no power whatsoever. If I'm to stay in that environment, no matter the condition, accidents, they take advantage of his absence. Otherwise, it cannot kill you. Jesus has to plan. He has, Jesus has to be on a journey away from you for a sickness to take advantage. I'm aware that this condition took advantage of your absence. If thou hast been here, my brother had not died. I remind you of this same revelation I gave you some years back. Job's wife said unto him, Curse God and die. Yet Job was sick. She realized that no matter the sickness, mm. he will not die. Mm. Yeah. She got this revelation. Yeah. It's not the sickness. Wow. Insult God. Mm. Yeah. Curse him. Mm. If yeah. he walks away from your life, then yeah. the sickness will take advantage. Mm. Of the absence of what? There is what gives an advantage to powerless conditions conditions that are so weak they survive on the absence of God and they kill people she noticed that this man called Job is not dying the way he's breathing I don't think he will make it up to the morning and in the morning he is alive he's talking about his redeemer and she started digging deeper into some hidden truths and she found out it's not a disease that kills a man of this caliber it's insulting god now i'm glad for your sex that i was not there so he died because i wasn't there and somebody there is going to confirm to you what i'm telling you now before we even get there someone if you don't believe my message that's jesus if you don't believe what i'm telling you wait until a woman there is a woman there waiting for you with this kind of message she will tell you the same thing that he he, he died because i wasn't there the brother died because i wasn't there but are we saying those that are dead god has left them do you know what it takes for a god who is omnipresent to not be present you know what it takes it has to be a miracle it has to be another miracle that he performs first for him to not be there how is he not there 
Yet when he was, Lazarus was sick, Jesus was away. Before even he was told, prophetically, Jesus was away. Because again, when he died, Jesus was aware that now the man is dead. How is he not there? There is a there that he's talking about. Being there, being present, and being actively involved. He can be everywhere and be doing nothing to the situation to address the condition. He can be there. Wasn't Jesus there in the boat when it, when it was about to sink? He was there. He was sleeping. And they got him to do something. Getting the presence of God to then do something to show that you are present. It's another dimension. So next time you are in a crisis and you said to question is god present where is god where is god because you said it before where is god in this where is god is it? he's there because he's omni present the issue has to be why isn't he active getting him to be active for his presence to be active do something since you are here make your works manifest He's there whilst you are suffering. He's there. He is even there whilst you are dying. And you hear him saying, it's because I wasn't there. He was there not doing anything to stop the situation. There is a way that you can get him to do something. Okay, I've said this before. If this revelation was given to Lazarus, by the sister it's what it was going to be better for lazarus if she was supposed to have told lazarus that you know you are going to die instead of <laughs> trying to have him here you go there instead of trying to preach this message to jesus like she did she was supposed to have told the brother but anyway can I form you like it is correct? You go to Rufa because I have over now. If this formula is really correct, that you are dying because it is absent. <laughs> it also means that Urufa because I will go to Koko Harigo. It also means you are dying because you are not present where he is. So don't just don't just question his presence here. Question your presence there. You you also, because your friends, your colleagues there are not dying. The revelation is true. If he was here, my brother wouldn't have died. But also, if your brother was there, he wouldn't have what? Died. So, it's something that you can work on today. Let's say he chooses not to be present. You can choose to be present. It's not entirely up to him to come. It's also up to me to go. If I can find him and I stay in his presence, these conditions would then not take advantage of his absence because now he's present not because he chose to be present but because i chose to be present in his presence i find a place where there is a concentration of the presence of god and there i stay most of you here you're smart enough to know had it not been for God who was present if you are too convinced if you are too much convinced that he is not present at least he has given you an option and the option is that you can choose to be present in his presence if you are not sure of his presence you can be sure of your presence in his presence your presence in the grace of God can be felt today your presence in the presence of God you can make a decision I'm going to pray until I'm felt I'm going to pray until I become present you see that yes there is that dimension in prayer you pray you pray you pray you pray you are delivered sometimes from the presence of demons I, I was in that phase before in the past where i would sense i would feel the presence of evil spirits i went through that college 
it's a class that you have to graduate from and you you come out of that class where you can feel the presence of the devil in your house and then you get into another class where it is their turn to feel your presence you have felt at that point you would have established your dimension of presence hear me as you pray your concentration your presence gets expanded as you pray your glory some of you might not be aware glory means weight your pounds your, your kgs your your density increases as you pray are, are we it a prayer you're not doing a prayer what do i mean and then you say amen without knowing how much you have gained in terms of weight no. the glory of god is the weight of god the moment you pray before we leave this place this is the reason why as you leave this place some of the demons if they left you at the gate allowed you to enter in this place waiting for you to leave this place the only way they cannot identify you is if you are to gain weight there is a change of structure <clears throat> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, talking, I'm saying this as a prophet. That when you finish the service and we leave, honestly, I'm telling you, we can get up to midnight with demons waiting for you. 12 a.m., we'll get to that hour and they will still be waiting for you there. Having passed by there already. <laughs> Something about you changes as you pray wherever you are right now you lift your voice pray and god is going to establish your presence in his grace in his mercy lift your voice wherever you are pray we are going to continue with the same prayer that you are doing you are gaining weight as you pray okay yes you are you are changing in your spiritual structure as you are praying Demons won't identify you again. Evil spirits will not recognize you after this very short prayer. As you are praying, your weight, I know most of you, you don't, you don't like weight, gaining weight. <laughs> but this one, you need it. This one is necessary. You will be felt everywhere you go. Okay? You arrive home, you don't need to chase away demons. Your presence will do the work. Your weight. It's time for demons to feel you now. All along you've been feeling sick. It's time for your sickness to feel you. The time has come.